Four two. The objective to add and subtract polynomials. What is a polynomial, you might ask? Well, first, let's talk about what a monomial is. You think a monomial is a number or a variable or the product of a number and variable. So a monomial is kind of like uh, stuff that's glued together by multiplication. 15 is just, you know, a, a monomial. It's, a, it's, an, it's just, just a number. So this is 6 times x. It's glued together by multiplication. This is 2 thirds times y glued together. This is negative 7 times m times p times p times z. These are all glued together by multiplication. So it is a monomial is just like a single term. Um, it is a number, a variable, or the product of a number or numbers and variable or variables. So basically, it's just something glued together by multiplication. A polynomial is just a few of these. One, two, three of these. So it's a bunch of monomials added or subtracted. For instance, notice this is a monomial plus another monomial minus another one. This is a monomial minus a monomial plus another one. This is one, two, three, four. I can keep going. Plus 5x squared minus 3xymq minus 2. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms here. And we could combine like terms, actually. But So these are all polynomials, more than one, more than one term. These things are called terms, right? There's a couple of polynomials with special names, uh, namely the binomial, which is two terms. You see it looks like here it just has two terms. It's a polynomial with two terms. Here's another one. Here's a term, and here's a term. Remember, the terms of the monomials are held together. These guys are all glued together by multiplication. These are glued together by multiplication. We take these terms and we add them or subtract them, and now we have a polynomial. Trinomial has three terms. One, two, three. Okay, so if we look at a term, it has some parts. The, the big number in front is the coefficient. The coefficient of this term is negative four. These guys are called the variables, and the exponents are up here. This x has an exponent of one. It's just not written. Terms are like each other meaning you can add or subtract terms or combine terms when they're like. And they're like when they're exactly alike. Exactly alike, except for the coefficient. So the coefficients don't have to be the same. So let's see. These two don't, definitely do not have the same coefficient. But is everything else exactly the same? Let's see. This is an x, x, yep. y squared, y squared, yep. z, z, yes. Now these are like terms. If there was a little 2 right here by the z, they would not be like terms because this part... The non-coefficient part is not exactly the same, unless this also had a 2. Now they are the same. Now they're like terms again. Okay? So that's what like terms are. So we're going to find like terms here. Um, I have a bunch of terms here. I'm going to just rearrange them and see if I can get them um, to see which terms are, are, are like these other ones. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, math here. Let's see. Um, 2xy squared would be 4x squared y squared times y would be... 4x squared y to the third. Is that like any of these? x squared y to the third, x squared y to the third. Yes, it's just like Mr. Red. So I'm going to circle this guy in red. We've got a like term here. What about this one? Is this That's like this guy, not like this guy. These guys are unlike. Let's see if this guy's like anyone. 3y squared x. Um, usually we put the terms in alphabetical order, so let me rearrange this. 3xy squared. Ah, like this guy. Let's see with this one. 3x, 2y, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6 times 6. So you can rearrange this, right? You can write it as 3 times 2 times 6 times x times y times y. You get 36xy squared. Is that like anybody? Anybody have this part to it? No, uh, yes! Like this guy. Let's see over here. x, x, we got two x's. y, 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 3, 6. Anything with x2, y3, well, right there. What about this guy? x, 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 x3, y, y, y2, and a 2. What about x3, y2, x3? No. This is what? Ah, nobody. I have no terms like me. Here we go. 4x, we get 16x squared times 3y squared times 2y. We have an x squared and a y, x squared, y2, and one more, y3, any x squared, y3. Yes. So all I have to do is a 16 times 3, which is 48. This guy is going to be like this one over here. All right, let's see here. Y, 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 we have Y, 3. We have X, 3, because we have X, X, X. Anybody? No, nobody's like him. And let's see. And then that's how you just continue to go, to check to see which terms are like. You basically just check 
to C, which are, are exactly. So here you see we have a lot of stuff going on. You negative 4. You can rearrange it. Negative 4 times 3 times x, 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 y, y, y. So I have x cubed, y cubed, negative 12. Any like this? No, but they actually have to be like this guy. Those guys are like each other, but I'm looking for some that are like these guys. All right, what about here? 4y cubed, oh my god. This is 4y times 4y times 4y times 5x. 4, 4 is 16. 16, this would be 64y cubed times 5x. It's going to be, well, what is that? 320 y cubed x, no, not like anybody. And I'm not even going to bother doing these because it's taking too much time, but you get the point. Here we go, on to the next one. Multiplying binomials using geometry. So we're going to multiply a couple binomials here. So let's think, um, just double check with numbers. If I was going to multiply 4 plus 3 times 2 plus 2, it would be the same thing as multiplying 4 plus 3, which is 7, times 4 would be 28. Right? So this should be 28. Now notice what I could do. I could break the... the the, the 4 up to 2 plus 2, so this would be distance 2, distance 2, and this is 4 plus 3, and watch. I could just do little mini sums. I could do, this is a 4 by 2 rectangle, so inside there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 4 times 2, 8. This is a 2 times by 3, 3 by 2, this would be 6. This is 3 by 2, 6, and this is 4 by 2, 8. Let's see if I add up these four areas if I end up with my 28. Let's see. 16 and 12, yes, is 28. So I can break this up into little rectangles and pieces. So watch what I'm going to do here, too. Watch. I'm going to find the area of this guy. This is 3x by 2x, which is 3x times 2x, which is the same thing as 3 times 2 times x times x, which equals 6x squared. 2x times 2 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times x, which is 4x. 4 times 3x, let's see, um, that's 4 times 3 times x, we can multiply these guys and get 12x. 4 times 2 is 8. So if I'm going to put these guys together, what would I get? I get, ooh, look at these guys, these are like terms, I'm going to add them all up, I get 6x squared plus 12 plus 4, 16x plus 8. Let's try it with, um, suppose x was 1. Let's see if this works, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 would be 5. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 would be 6, should be 30. Let's see if this equals 30. Does 6 plus 16 plus 8 equal 30? Well, 6 plus 6, yes, it does. It works with 1. Let's try it. I'm not going to try it with all of these. Let's just try it with 3. Let's see if it would work. Suppose this was a 3, right? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10, so I should get 110, right? Let's see if this works for a 3. 3 squared is 9 times 6 is 54, plus 16 times 3 is 48, plus 8. Let's see if it works. 54, 48, 8, 16 is 0. Gary, uh, wait, 8 and 8 is 16, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 110. Nice, it works. Wow, neato. And it works for multiplying terms. Watch. We're going to do one thing. We're going to combine like terms quickly. Remember, these are, if this was addition, I could just pretty much remove the parentheses. But because it's subtraction, it's saying I'm adding the opposite of all this stuff. It's saying add the opposite of all this stuff. So I'm going to rewrite this with these, the opposite of all this. Watch. 2p squared q minus 3xy squared minus y cubed. Now watch. The opposite of everything, I'm going to add the opposite. The opposite of this is going to be positive p squared q. The opposite of this is negative q cubed. Anything... Any p squared, oh, here's a p squared q, here's a p squared q, remember the sign goes with the term, this is a positive, so I end up with two p squared q's here, and one more, I get three p squared q, any x, y's, no, any y, no, nothing else I can combine, so negative three x, y squared, minus y cubed, minus q cubed, all done.